Hi, my name is Lucina Balian. I'm a speech and language pathologist from Harmony Speech Therapy and Diagnostics. And today's topic is stuttering. So we're going to talk about stuttering, um, what causes stuttering, some myths about stuttering, and how we as speech and language pathologists treat stuttering. So what I'd like to clarify is that stuttering is um, a communication disorder, which involves the flow of speech. Um, being broken down really into repetitions, prolongations, or blocks. And what this looks like is, for example, if someone says, I, 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 I like, or I like, or I like. So these are the three types of um, stuttering that may occur. And what studies have shown recently is that uh, stuttering is really a motor planning um, communication disorder or a, communi a motor planning issue um, that happens. And what this tells us is that this really is not a psychological issue, which is a myth I'd like to debunk. So people who stutter or uh, persons who stutter really don't necessarily have psychological issues. So we might want to um, treat um, their anxiety, or if they have a co, co um, condition, which is anxiety and the stuttering. So that might be something to treat. But really, in the past, um, it has been said that stuttering is a psychological issue. So no, it is not. Um, it's actually motor planning um, communication disorder. And so what causes stuttering? That's a really big question that is asked a lot of us. And so there's a couple of things that um, are involved with what causes stuttering. So the first thing and the most important thing is genetics. So about 60% of stutterers have um, somebody in their family who may um, be, have been a stutterer. So genetics play a really big part in um, what causes stuttering. Usually um, kiddos who stutter, uh, have onset around three years old, three to four years old. And just like any other communication um, disorder, uh, it is highly recommended that, that parents really seek therapy or seek an evaluation as soon as possible. So you might, as a parent, you might want to seek services if the uh, stuttering is, you know, being, is lasting more than three to six months, is becoming more severe, the child is developing secondary behaviors. Um, and overall, uh, you know, this is not necessarily just uh, repetitions, but really becoming a stuttering where the child can't communicate properly or it is affecting their ability to communicate um, and their ability to really get their idea across. So it's going to be really important to um, provide some help to these children. But of course, we don't only work with children. Um, as a speech and language pathologist, we work with adults as well who, have, who are stutterers. So another, another thing I'd like to clarify is that stuttering doesn't necessarily go away. So does it, there's no cure for stuttering. There's no medicine or any magical treatment for stuttering. Um, how we treat stuttering is by providing tools or techniques to the person who stutters so that they may be able to have a better handle on their um, speech and language uh, abilities and, and be able to um, use these tools to control their stuttering, to be able to communicate better and increase their, uh, increase their confidence in their own speech. So um, as always, if you have any questions, uh, please go ahead and ask them below or um, you can leave a comment. If this was helpful, please let us know. And um, if, we, if we wanna dive deeper into how we actually treat therapy, if you guys like to see that, please also let us know. And as always, please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Thank you.